Ellen, and today we're going to learn about the process of osmosis, which is just the movement of water through a semi-permeable membrane. And a semi-permeable membrane is just kind of like a filter that some things can get through, um, but not all. Uh, so today, the only thing that's getting through our membrane is water. Pretty much the only thing. Um, so what you're gonna need for the experiment today is gummy bears, table salt, sugar, a measuring cup, a tablespoon, three clear glasses, each filled with a cup of water and labeled. So we're gonna have pure water, a sugar water solution, and a salt water solution. You're gonna need a ruler, a piece of paper, a pencil, and um, a calculator. So I've already taken out three gummy bears. We're gonna put one into each glass. Um, before you put them in the glass though, you're going to want to um, measure them length, width, and height, and then um, write it down in the table that I've provided. <sighs> Another thing that you're gonna wanna do, and I've already gone ahead and done this for uh, time's sake, but you're gonna want to uh, prepare your solutions. So what I just did here was I warmed up a glass of water and put in three tablespoons of sugar and stirred until all the sugar dissolved. And then I did the same thing with salt. I used three tablespoons of salt and stirred until it all dissolved. Um, so what we're gonna do is just put a gummy bear in each glass like this. And then we are going to wait for 12 hours. Um, and I just want you to think about what is gonna happen to the gummy bears over the next 12 hours. Are they gonna shrink? Are they gonna grow? Or are they gonna dissolve? What do you think is gonna happen? So think about that and I'll see Many you Many unbearable hours later. All right guys, we are back. Let's have a look at what happened to our gummy bears over the past 12 hours. So this is our gummy bear that was sitting in pure water and it actually grew quite a bit as you can see. It grew to about 2.5 times its original size. Um, and then our sugar water gummy bear grew as well. It grew to about 1.7 times its original size. And then our salt water gummy bear, oh, it's moving, didn't grow at all. It actually stayed about the same size. So let's talk about what happened to our gummy bears. Why did the gummy bears grow? Why did they stay the same size? Well, remember, this experiment demonstrates osmosis. And osmosis is the movement of water through a membrane to an area of higher solute concentration. And with pure water, there were more solutes inside of the gummy bear. And when I'm talking about solutes, I'm talking about sugar and salt in this experiment. There were more uh, sugar molecules in the gummy bear than there were outside. Remember, pure water doesn't have any sugar in it. So uh, the water is going to move into the gummy bear where the sugar is, much like you and I like to do. We like to go where the sugar is. And then the same thing happened with the sugar water. Um, there was more sugar inside of the gummy bear than there was in the water. So some of the water molecules wanted to move into the gummy bear where the sugar was. Other water molecules were already interacting with sugar, so they were happy where they were. And then we have our salt water. And our gummy bear and our salt water didn't uh, grow, and that is because uh, the solute concentration in the water was very similar to the solute concentration inside the gummy bear. So the water was happy where it was. It didn't want to move at all. Um, so let's talk about the importance of osmosis in everyday life. And it's actually very important. Our body, our, the cells in our body are constantly undergoing osmosis. Water is constantly moving in and out of our cells. Um, and that is important to maintain nutrients and uh, water, the balance between nutrients and water in our bodies. It's very important for our survival. And you can learn more about that um, on the worksheet. You can read all about that. So um, think about the experiment, uh, contemplate what happened here, and I hope you enjoyed 
this and um, I'll see you back for more experiments.